me get to Matt Harrigan now. He tracks News Corp for Wonderlick Securities. He's a Bloomberg Best Analyst for this stock, and he joins us on the phone uh, from Denver. I know you have a buy rating on News Corp. Are you uh, somewhat assured by this earnings report that they are trying to get through this phone hacking scandal? Well, of course, the uh, the earnings report is separate from the phone ha hacking scandal. But these are simply standout numbers, uh, you know, relative to the other media peers. And it was really across the board, you know, revenues, cost control, international growth at Fox International channels. Uh, you know, domestic numbers were great. Mm -hmm. You know, movie studio has passed the Avatar comps and had very good numbers off uh, Rio and the Black Swan, the uh, home entertainment contribution. So th these are exciting numbers, uh, you know, barring an economic collapse, uh, I think. News Corp stock is, is very compelling here. Uh, it's compelling, but you wonder what's the catalyst because, Matt, even you, I think, admit that M&A, future M&A for now, is out of the question for News Corp. No, our, our immediate reaction was that absolutely he is precluded from taking in the rest of uh, B Sky B, and I don't think that will that will change in the foreseeable you know future. But you know the efficacy of a cherry purchase program here is really amped by the discount in the stock. I mean, I think that the, if it wasn't for you know, Murdoch and the dislocations in the market right now, that this could be a, a twenty-eight or even a thirty-dollar stock. So of course, to the extent that they're buying back shares, you know, it's it's very accretive. I mean, percentage-wise, there's a decent dividend increase, but there's nothing you know, spectacular to write home about as far as the absolute nominal amount. You know, the kick here is, is really the repurchase story and the momentum of the operating businesses. And I think this is as painful for, for Rupert Murdoch as, as anyone else out there, and I would like to think that he is, he is sincerely contrite about everything that, that, that happened. Uh, I was not that enthused about the uh, performance before you know, Parliament you know, with him and James. I mean, I thought that... Uh, he seemed a little bit, maybe perhaps deliberately absent-minded, you know, sometimes. But I think the company that will, will get through this, and this is a compelling uh, you know, gaggle of media businesses on a global basis. Hey, Matt, let me ask you, I mean, probably worse for Rupert Murdoch than anyone else, right? Because he wants to make these big asset acquisitions. He wants uh, to grow and consume other media groups, whereas a lot of the investors that Betty and I have been speaking to over the past couple of weeks, couple of years, have been saying, we want to see some of that cash back. We want to see dividend increases. We want to see share buybacks. So investors may be sort of pleased by what this has forced News Corp to do. I don't think there are a lot of elephants with the savannah as far as M&A activity goes that he'd be allowed to approach on a regulatory basis. I mean, we already talked about Sky. I, I also think partly as a result of the searing experience in the early 1990s, they, they are very careful with their capital structure. They will do buybacks, but they'll be prudent on the leverage side, particularly with the global macro environment that we have uh, right now. I think that uh, you know Murdoch is, is justifiably cautious on, on the global economy, along with uh, other you know, executives like Sean Malone at Liberty. Uh, Matt, just uh, quickly, I mean, on the management changes, do you think all that talk is going to die down pretty quickly? I was very skeptical uh, that Rupert would be, I, I would expect him to be the CEO five years from now, quite frankly. And I think he might have an interregnum with, with Chase Carey as the CEO, but I would certainly expect one of the Murdoch, uh, you know, kids to be the eventual, uh, you know, new CEO. And it, it could even be Elizabeth Murdoch, despite the uh, concerns over, over Shine. You know, I think James has shown himself to be a little uh, abrasive and, and quick sometimes. I mean, he's still, you know, relatively young and, and the situation could still diffuse over a period of time. But no, I I think that there will be a Murdoch running this company eventually. I, I, you know, Murdoch's mother is a centenarian doing uh, charity work, uh, at least as of a few years ago, down in Australia. So you know, he could be around for quite a while. And I, I do think that they will return some capital. And I do think that the stock will always remain at somewhat of a discount. But they're putting great numbers together operationally. And, and, and buying back shares here, I think, is really compelling value for the company. Okay. Matt, thank you very much. Matt Harrigan of Wonderlick Security.